In Pakistan, there's a buzz about the arrival of the J-35 fighter jet. More than in Pakistani media, it's the Indian media that's abuzz with discussions about China now providing its latest technology to Pakistan for testing. The J-35 aircraft is at the forefront of this technological transfer, because it's a fifth-generation fighter. Currently, only a handful of fifth-generation aircraft exist globally, including China's J-35 and J-20, the American F-22 and F-35, and Russia's Su-57. This is why the Indian media is discussing that by providing fifth-generation aircraft to Pakistan, China is going to give it a significant edge over the Indian Air Force. This is particularly concerning because India does not possess any fifth-generation aircraft. The United States had offered to provide India with its state-of-the-art F-35 fighter jets. However, the Indian government has yet to decide whether to purchase these aircraft. There are several reasons for this hesitation. Firstly, F-35 aircraft are exceedingly expensive. The cost of just one aircraft exceeds $80 million. Furthermore, each aircraft incurs an hourly flight cost of $40,000 to $45,000. India's economy simply cannot afford such expensive aircraft. Moreover, India aspires to become a superpower, and to achieve this, it needs the capability to develop its own fifth-generation aircraft. India also has its own fifth-generation aircraft program. In this video, we will tell you about the status of India's fifth-generation aircraft program, and when India can expect to get this aircraft. To avoid any confusion, we request our viewers to watch the video from beginning to end and then share their opinions in the comment section. This Indian fifth-generation aircraft project has been named the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft ANCA. According to the plan, it will be a single-seat, twin-engine aircraft. It will be capable of all-weather combat, will be multi-role like the Rafale, and, like other fifth-generation aircraft, it will be invisible on radar, meaning it will possess fifth-generation stealth capabilities. Many designs and models of this aircraft have also been prepared. This project was launched in 2010. This means 15 years have passed since its inception. During this period, significant changes have also been made to its proposed design. Initially, the aircraft's weight was set at 20 tons, but it was later increased to 25 tons. However, despite 15 years passing, this aircraft has not yet moved beyond the drawing board. No serious efforts have been made for its production. This is why not even a little work has started on this aircraft. Even today, only its models are displayed in India's air shows. The real aircraft has not yet been built. There are many reasons for the delay in the Indian AMCA project. The biggest reason is that India does not have the capability to build engines for fifth-generation aircraft. In fact, India cannot even build engines for fourth-generation aircraft. In the foreseeable future, there is no chance that India will be able to build these engines. India started working on building its first engine for fighter aircraft in 1986. This engine was named Kaveri. However, after nearly 40 years, this engine has not been fully developed. Indian engineers have failed in their attempts to improve and make this engine suitable for aircraft. Initially, India had decided to install this engine in its indigenously developed Tejas aircraft. But after the failure of Kaveri, India signed an agreement with the American company General Electric and started purchasing F40 for engines. India also uses these engines in Tejas. However, deliveries of these engines are also subject to delays due to which the Tejas project is also not progressing successfully. This is why Indian Tejas aircraft failed to show any performance in recent skirmishes with Pakistan, and were not even used. The Kaveri engine project with Tejas has also been significantly delayed. Now, Indian media is reporting that successful tests of the Kaveri engine are being conducted in Russia. It seems that India has tried to improve the Kaveri engine with Russia's help. However, even this new, improved engine is not suitable for installation in fighter jets. According to Indian media, this engine will be installed in India's long-range jet drones. Although India also wanted to install this engine in its fifth-generation AMCA aircraft, former Indian pilots are warning that this engine is not suitable for modern fifth-generation aircraft. The failure to develop an engine is the biggest reason for the delay in India's fifth-generation aircraft production. Additionally, bureaucratic issues and funding delays are also slowing down the project. In fact, it has now been decided that it is impossible for the Indian government to develop this aircraft alone. It simply does not have the capability to do so. However, the recent failure of Rafale aircraft in Operation Sindur and reports of Pakistan potentially acquiring J-35 aircraft have worried India. The Indian government has hastily decided to accelerate work on the fifth-generation aircraft project, but it cannot develop this aircraft independently. Therefore, it has been decided to outsource this work. 
Indian media has reported that private companies will be involved in this project. There are reports that India's Ministry of Defense has approved the domestic production of state-of-the-art fifth-generation stealth fighter jets. The Defense Ministry has asked defense companies that are interested in this project to submit their plans for building fighter jet prototypes. According to Indian defense experts, this is a major project to increase the Indian Air Force's combat capability, and private companies are also being included in this project. India's Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has also approved the execution models of the fifth-generation aircraft. The responsibility for its development has been given to the Indian government's Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA. The Aeronautical Development Agency will execute this project in collaboration with private companies operating in India. A statement from the Ministry of Defense said that this project is a huge step towards developing an experimental model of a stealth fighter jet through indigenous expertise, capability, and aptitude. The statement further said that this will be a milestone in achieving self-reliance in India's aerospace sector. The Aeronautical Development Agency will soon issue an instrument of interest for collaboration with private companies. Among the companies that are going to be involved in this project is Tata Advanced Systems Limited. This is a private company that has expertise in building and assembling defense aircraft. However, questions are also being raised about the involvement of private companies in such projects in India implying favoritism. Indian defense experts believe that it is highly possible that other private defense manufacturing companies will join this local project in collaboration with foreign companies. The design and approval for the advanced medium combat aircraft were given by India's Cabinet Committee on Security in March 2024. The Aeronautical Development Agency showcased a model of the stealth fighter jet at India's air show this past February, but despite all efforts, this aircraft will not be ready for at least another 10 years. Its formal production will begin in 2035, and initially, 120 aircraft will be produced. However, the production of these 120 aircraft will take several more years after 2035. Meanwhile, China, which is far ahead in the production of fifth-generation aircraft, will have advanced even further in this technology. China has already developed to sixth-generation aircraft. Its plan is to produce 1,500 fifth and sixth generation aircraft by 2035, which will be its frontline fighters. Whereas India will only be starting the production of fifth generation aircraft in 2035. So far, India has not made any decision about where these aircraft's engines will be sourced from. Since they cannot be produced domestically, they will obviously have to be purchased from another country. Experts say that the development of engines will be the biggest hurdle in India's path to a fifth-generation aircraft. Nevertheless, the fifth-generation aircraft project has become a matter of life and death for India. Before knowing more about India's fifth-generation aircraft project, let's also understand the characteristics of a fifth-generation aircraft. The prominent feature of fifth-generation fighter jets is stealth technology, which reduces the aircraft's radar cross-section and infrared detection. This makes it extremely difficult to detect the aircraft's presence. Fifth-generation aircraft also include state-of-the-art weapon systems, high maneuverability, and sustained supersonic flight capabilities. These aircraft are designed to scatter radar waves, while radar-absorbing materials or composite materials absorb radar signals, preventing the aircraft from sending back a complete image to the radar system. This makes it difficult for radar systems to detect the aircraft. In addition, new engine designs, cooling systems, exhausts, and internal weapon bays reduce the aircraft's heat signature, making it difficult to identify through thermal technology. Furthermore, they can be linked to satellites. These aircraft are also equipped with long-range missiles, which make them extremely dangerous. Because of this, locating and targeting them becomes a major challenge even for the most advanced technology. Defense analysts say that the recent military confrontation between India and Pakistan has highlighted the importance of air force superiority and fighter jets in future conflicts. In this four-day conflict, fighter jets, drones, missiles, and air defense systems were extensively used. Both countries currently possess fourth or 4.5 generation fighter jets. But now, China's offer of the J-35 stealth aircraft to Pakistan has rattled Indian experts. This is the first time that fifth-generation stealth aircraft are entering South Asia. India currently does not have any radar or defense system that can detect these aircraft or attempt to target them. This means that the arrival of these aircraft would give Pakistan complete air superiority over India. Simultaneously, Pakistan is also in talks with Turkey to purchase its fifth-generation aircraft, named Khan. This aircraft is not yet fully ready but work is ongoing, 
and Pakistan also wants to participate in its production. Now, Indian experts face a major concern that Pakistan is about to acquire not one, but two fifth generation aircraft. These fighter jets will be with Pakistan, and it will be the first time that such stealth fighter jets will be part of the tension between India and Pakistan. If this happens, it will be a difficult situation for the Indian Air Force. This will shift the air balance between the two countries in Pakistan's favor. On the other hand, India does not have fifth generation aircraft. This is why officials in India are now focusing more on the Air Force. According to experts, the stealth fighter jet project is also part of this policy, and the importance of ground forces has become limited. The prototype of the stealth fighter project that India has now approved is expected to be ready in 2028. Some Indian experts say that India cannot immediately develop fifth-generation aircraft. Therefore, in these circumstances, India will have to purchase fifth-generation fighter jets from another country very soon. The reason is obvious, according to the Indian plan, aircraft developed in India will not be available even for the next 10 years. These experts also say that the Indian stealth fighter project is suitable for the long term, but it has no significance in the current situation. They also say that this project is a huge challenge for India because the biggest problem in India is the engine. Currently, no engine for a fighter jet has been built in India, nor is there any hope of one being built in the near future. Talks were held with America two years ago for engine development in India, but those talks have now weakened. So, the question is, what options does India currently have? Because India simply cannot afford for Pakistan to gain complete air superiority over India through fifth-generation aircraft. One option is for India to buy F-35 aircraft from the US. But these aircraft are very expensive. Compared to these, India can buy Sukhoi Su-57 aircraft from Russia. But there are problems with these aircraft too. Firstly, there are questions about the stealth capabilities of these aircraft. International media reports suggest that this aircraft can be detected on radar. This is why Russia has not used this aircraft in attacks in Ukraine. The second problem is that this aircraft is suffering from several technical issues. This is why Russia is unable to produce this aircraft on a large scale. India wants Russia to agree to transfer Su-57 technology. After that, this aircraft will be produced in India. This way, India will gain the capability to develop state-of-the-art fifth-generation aircraft technology. If this happens, it will be easier for India to become a superpower because it will then be able to build modern aircraft itself. However, for now, this also does not seem possible. The transfer of technology for these aircraft from Russia and then their production in India will cost India a lot of time and money. But currently, it does not have that time. This is why the Indian government is currently facing severe difficulties. Indian Air Chief Marshal Amar Preet Singh seems very concerned about the delays in Indian aircraft projects. In a recent speech, he complained that, not a single one of our projects is being completed on time. He said about the plans that, many projects have not been completed even after being signed. He also said that, the Indian Air Force used to buy aircraft from abroad, but now we should focus on building aircraft in our own country. He emphasized that, this work must be done quickly. However, the circumstances indicate that it is not immediately possible for India to fulfill its air chief's wishes. It seemingly appears that in the coming time, the Pakistan Air Force will have the upper hand, and India will face severe difficulties. Previously, our channel also has videos about J-10C aircraft, and the nuclear and missile programs of Pakistan and India. You can learn about them, by clicking on these links.